over the recent game update number three. So this update was a lot smaller than the other two updates previously. It doesn't have as many notable fixes, but there were a couple other things released out of game as well today. So I'll throw those in here as well. So to start off with the in-game updates, there have been some fixes to the SMGs, the original three. Uh, mostly on the Eridania, I think they got some problem with the night vision scope. As well, there are three new SMGs that have been put out. I've tried the, uh, one of them, the one you're seeing right now. I can't remember what the name is. The NC one, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I will be doing a review on all the SMGs coming up soon. Not sure if I'll have the time to get them all before the bolt action rifles. Probably. It'll probably go carve next since I have that almost done. Uh, the SMGs and then the carve light machine gun, TR light machine gun coming up after that. Some more changes. There have been changes to the UI on influence pie charts. I haven't been able to see this in game, but that's what's written down. So normally, uh, apparently now it only shows enemy and friendly instead of differentiated between factions. I'm not a fan of this change, but it's pretty negligible anyways. There have also been fixes to leader, platoon, and outfit functions. So previously there were some issues changing ranks of members in your outfits or setting someone as a leader to the platoon and stuff like that. So apparently those have been fixed. Again, pretty minimal if you're just not the platoon leader or outfit leader or anything like that. There have been a lot of changes to different pain fields, spawns, and telepod, teleporters and jump pads. I don't know why I said telepads, trying to combine the two. So changes to those, mostly just fixes, nothing major. And then the VS Flare had a fix to its sound where it wasn't uh, producing sound near the end of its clip. So all together, pretty small changes. Let's go now to the other two things that were released, which are the player stats kind of thing. So Battlefield 3 has the battle log. This is Fairly similar, except I like it. I like the design a lot more. So let's go to it now. If I type in planetside2.com, wait for my slow connection to come up. And right here, you'll see players. Planetside2 players is now in beta. Go ahead and click the link. And it's asking me to log in, or you can just character search right up here. I'll go to my character. Mr. Gaff, rank 28, World Genudine. So now you can check up on me and make sure I'm reviewing or trying out the weapon you asked me to review. You can see all my sexy character. I'm guessing this is actually probably a good place for me to get my weapon icons too. I've been continually going in-game, but now I can just take pictures of the weapon icons. So as you can see my score per minute, you can see the weapons. Mine, as if you really wanted to actually see my stats. Um, the weapons I use, how I've done with them, as well as a planet status, so you can see the current status of the planet. So the Vanu actually control all this territory, TR somehow got all the way over here. They probably have their entire force right here, or at TI Alloys. And so people have been putting this on their second screen and played while looking at this. It's not going to show you where your character is, per se but it does look pretty interesting. Right now, oh, this is on Briggs right now. So Briggs is it's in alphabetical order, so you can just go to world, change it, and that's that. Second big news that came out today was, here I'll find it real quick. So here's the second thing. Uh, I got to this page from a tweet by Higby. It's in the gameplay discussion. I thought they would be in the announcements, but put it inside to gameplay discussion. I'll have it linked in the description if you want to take a closer look. But the big thing that I was looking at is these merges. So as you can see, Jenny Knight and Helios will be merging, so I'll have two characters there. And Watterson and Jaeger are joining, so that I'll be able to play with Rel now. Um, who's another YouTuber who does excellent Planetside 2 videos, if you haven't checked them out. Um, she is linked on my channel page, and I'll also put a link to his channel in the description. So those are the major changes that have come in game update number 3. I assume that SOE will be coming out with another game update pretty soon. I'm not sure how soon, but they didn't cover everything they had in the roadmap for February, so I don't think they did. So we should have that out pretty soon. So that's it for now.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.